We here at the Sports History Network proudly partner with 26 podcasts, all revolving around the history of sports. But did you know that many of our hosts were sports history authors way before they started their shows? It's true. We've got Joe Ziemba, host of When Football Was Football. Joe Zagurski, host of Pro Football in the 1970s. Mark Morthier, host of Yesterday Sports. Tommy Phillips, host of Lombardi Memories. And Scott Adamson, co-host of From the 55-Yard Line. All these authors have many books for you to choose from. To check them out, go to our website at sportshistorynetwork.com slash sportshistorybooks. Pick up your copy today! Soundtrack provided by Kevin McLeod of filmmusic.io. Now it's time to take a sports break, a look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends in sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great sports history and team sports. And as we look for these great events that have happened on June 24th, because sports history is made every day of the year, and we try to preserve it, at least a little bit, through these great athletes and the uniform numbers that they wore. And some of the uniform numbers we'll talk about in today's episode are number 9, 42, and 12, as they all made history on this day. Now, June 24th, 1922, the two-year-old professional football league called the American Professional Football Association, or APFA, renamed itself into the National Football League under the direction of President Joe Carr at the time. June 24th, 1922, that same day, the APFA slash NFL franchise, known as the Chicago Staleys, was renamed to become the Chicago Bears by team founder, owner, and head coach, George Hallis. See, in 1920, the team joined the inaugural season of the league as the Decatur Staleys, and then they became the Chicago Staleys a year later after the uh, Mr. Staley had let George Hallis take over the team and move it to Chicago. There was a gradual digression till they became the Bears in 1922. June 24th, 1936, the Yankees rookie outfielder Joe DiMaggio, wearing number nine that year, tied a trio of MLB records in New York's 10-run fifth inning against the Chicago White Sox. DiMaggio hit two home runs for eight total bases as he helped the Yankees beat Chicago 18-4. Yeah, and I didn't misspeak. Joe DiMaggio wore number nine in his rookie year and did not switch over to that number five till later in his career, actually year two and on. Now, June 24th, 1947, future Baseball Hall of Famer Jackie Robinson in his famous number 42 jersey stole home for the first of 19 times in his career as the Brooklyn Dodgers beat the Pittsburgh Pirates 4-2. And uh, what a great event that was from Jackie Robinson. Stealing home is always an exciting play, but to have it stolen 19 times in a career, that's pretty good. And Jackie Robinson was definitely one of the good ones. On June 24th, 1955, Washington Senator Slugger Harmon Killebrew, who wore number 12, hit his first career home run off of Billy Hoff of the Detroit Tigers. Now, the Tigers won that game anyway, 18 to 7. Killebrew ended up with 573 wall clears for this career uh, in the MLB, and what a great hitter he was uh, for the Washington Senators and later the Minnesota Twins. And uh, just some fantastic history that we got to cover today. Glad you could join us. I'm happy to share it with you, and hope we'll be back tomorrow for some more great sports history on these little sports breaks where we talk about the events of the day and some of the uniform numbers and players that did some of these great sporting events in history that we want to remember. So until tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. This penalty kill is almost over. I got to get back out on the ice. But thanks again for joining us for another great edition of Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com. Not only see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. You get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network. 
your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. Guardian newspaper circa 1924. But for Marla Delft, assistant editor, everything was about to change. For she was about to discover the awesome attractiveness of Row 1 brand retro sports paraphernalia items thanks to Orville Mulligan, sports writer. And there it is. Wow, Orville, that's really the bee's knees. Isn't it just? A poster-sized replica of the actual 1909 World Series program cover. I can see that. But where did you get it? And where'd you get it framed? I ordered it from the Row 1 website, where over 6,000 items of sports memorabilia from the 1880s to the 1990s are available for reproduction, in multiple sizes and in several different materials, with over a dozen styles of frame to choose from for prints like this. Well, I'm sure Mr. Delft would love to put up more of these in the office. But I'm equally as sure they're beyond this newspaper's budget. (laughs) <laughs> Not at all, my dear Marla. See for yourself. Go to sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one. Sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one. Oh my, these are good prices. Oh, and look at this stuff. Oklahoma, Nebraska football. College basketball art. Michael Jordan items. And so Retro it was that Marla Delt discovered the spondiferous magic of row one sports memorabilia arts and prints. You can, too, by visiting sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one. That's R-O-W number one today for access to the full row one catalog of gallery prints and gifts like t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, telephone cases, coffee mugs, blankets, pillows, towels, and even shower curtains. Act today for a 15% discount off all prints with coupon code SHN15 and 20% off all other items with coupon code SHN20 at Check out and keep your dial locked to the Sports History Network for the exciting chronicles of the 1920 sports world in Orville Mulligan, sports writer, coming soon. Okay,